there are numerous cases that need to extract data from a data set matching multiple criteria. How about we solve a few of the cases today? Hello there, this is Farihatul Mim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates and VBA related answers. Our problem today is to match different criteria from different arrays in Excel. We will work on this dataset based on some clothing products using Microsoft 365. It has four columns, name of the product, color, size, and price. We will focus on six methods as solution. In our first two methods, we will use the index and match functions to form an array and non-array formula. Array form will guide us to work with multiple data at once. Whereas, non-array is for individual calculation, which is easier for users to understand. Let's see how we use the functions for the array formula. Beside the dataset, we have added new cells to input the data to match from. Let's use coat as product, orange as color, and M as size. In cell H8, let's try to match the criteria by multiplication. To write down the formula, we know that we have to insert an equal sign. So I just insert an equal, then simply just write the formula. See how it shows the second record as 1, since our second record matches the criteria. Now, array is not what we want. Let's try match function to get the row number. Zero for exact match. This too shows row number where all the criteria match. Index function will drag out the price value from this. To get the value in currency format, you can click on this format and you will get $30 in the correct format. Just as our data set $30, our output is also $30. In case there are no match, Let's try L for size. It will show you error. To avoid error return, we have used if error function. And in case of error, it will return no match. In this method, we will use the index and match functions to form a non-error formula. Let's input the criteria for a coat in yellow color and L size. To get the price value after the match, we will type this formula. The formula is very similar to the previous one. Index from price match 1 from index instead of previously used multiplication formula. Now zero for exact match. Now we can see a coat in yellow color and in L size from the data set. Coat yellow L size is of $50 and our output is $50 as well. Using this non-array formula, it is easier to understand for users with low expertise on the array. For our third method, we will match multiple criteria vertically and horizontally. For vertical match, here is another data set with first name, last name and department name. Here, first name and last name 
are required as criteria and department will be the output after matching. Let's insert Peter as our first name and Parker as our last name. In cell G6, enter the formula with index and match function to match both names from their respective department. Zero for exact match. So you can see that Peter Parker is from production department. As we can see from our data set, it is right. The horizontal match is quite similar, whereas you need to select the ranges horizontally. We are looking for the department name for David Warner. So we can see that David Warner is from sales department, just as our dataset. Now we will match multiple criteria across different worksheets. Our source data is in this data worksheet using product ID and first name as criteria. We will match and get sale value in another worksheet, which I have named M01. These three rows have the criteria. Let's try a formula to get the sale. Now we can see that Tom with product ID M01 has sale value of 7000. 700. Copy the formula down the cells. Now we can see that all the first name and the product ID are matched and the sale value is returned in this column. You can notice a small green triangle on the top left. These are for error. You can easily click on ignore error to get rid of this. Let's count how many matches are found using multiple criteria. Suppose we want to know how many orange colored code in M size is available. In cell G8, let's try the count is function. It will look from product column for coat, color column for orange and size column for M. So we can see that coat in orange color and in M size are available in two, which is this row and this row. This formula works as AND operation, where all the conditions have to match for output. You can use the COUNTIFS function as OR operation as well. Here we will use the SUM function along with the count is function. Here we will use the sum function to add the returns from the count is function to look for red or yellow products from cell C5. Let's see the formula. Range is C5 to C14. Now our criteria. So we can see that there are five products available in red or yellow color. Let's count red, yellow, red, yellow, red. Total five. Finally, the filter function is the perfect way to match multiple criteria for different arrays in Excel. Here are the criteria we want as yellow shirt in double excel size. In cell H8, for the formula, add filter function.
in case no match is found it will return no match as output so we can see that a yellow shirt in double xl size is available in 70 dollars which is our output as well from these six methods you can try any of them according to your convenience you can practice this problem with the help of the excel file in the description box below let us know if you were able to solve the problem in the comment section with suggestions and feedback stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon like and share the video if it helped you thanks for watching